Hello friends, Adam here with FED. Today we're going to be talking about the dancer class of Fire Emblem Three Houses and which units really shine in it and what units are honestly just kind of, it's okay, <laughs> you know, because dancer is good no matter what because the ability to give another unit an extra turn is great, but there are some other tools that dancer has that allows a certain units to shine more than others. So let us go over that. We have uh, four different tiers to go through, them being Ultimate Utility, which is going to be units that I think fit best into Dancer. Utility, which are other picks that aren't quite like top tier to me. They're like, uh, they make good use of the, the fact that Dancers can use magic. Uh, only half magic, by the way. Uh, and by half magic, I mean half uses of magic. Uh, and they just are generally good picks for Dancer. Uh, sword of Void, which is like combat units that you put in it just to get the Sword of Void skill. And then the final tier, Dancing is Good, is just everybody else. Uh, I'm not going to explain all of them, and some of them could potentially go into Sword of Void. But I'm going to argue that Dancing is just good for these units. Because no matter what, giving another, giving your like best combat unit or a really good healer or something another turn is always going to be useful. But without further ado, let us... Get started. Let me open up my other tab that has my finished notes. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So first into Sword of Void is going to be Dimitri. Uh, I only throw Dimitri in here because of Rangor's 0% gross playthrough. Uh, made good use of Sword of Void. It's kind of it. All right. Next into Sword of Void tier is going to be Yuri. I think Yuri uh, is really interesting with his high speed so naturally high avoid and then you even it, 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 people just say like i'll oh, put him he's meant to be into trickster whatever so that works too you get uh duelist blow plus sword dance um, i mean sword evade i mean and then you're really high evade unit it's great that's basically what sword avoid's all about the sword avoid skill just it's to make dodge tanks essentially all right and these next three are kind of interchangeable to me in terms of placement but they do well uh with it so first we're gonna do ingrid Petra and Leone. These three units all act in a, a similar role for their house, respective house, uh, being rather quick, and uh, a lot of them end up being flying. Like I, I end up putting these three almost exclusively into flying classes, and then just just being super useful throughout the entire game. Uh, but they can make good use of sort of void, you know, especially you pair it with alert stance. Uh, I mean, or, or a letter sense plus, of course, and you have a unit that's dodging everything. It can be extremely powerful, extremely useful, and something worth noting. Dodge tanking is actually a fairly reliable strat in three houses, surprisingly. All right, next we have Felix. This is everyone's first pick, I feel like. Everyone's always like, oh, but Felix will be really good with Sword of Void. And it's true. I mean, similar to the other three, he'll dodge a lot, but I feel like he, just on another level in terms of damage output, Mostly thanks to the Crest of Faldarius and just good uh, offensive stats. I think Felix has a really good chance to just dodge every, like, just really put, uh, like, sort of what just kind of would, I feel like, would put him over the top in terms of his evasion and being able to dodge tank in a way that is, like, somewhat safe or is safe in many instances. All right. Utility picks. First, we have Flame. Uh, Flane, I, I put her here just because of Rescue. Rescue plus Dancing and then Fortify as well. Seems pretty good to me. Uh, because when you are a Dancer, you are allowed to use a Magic as well. So that's basically all you're going to find in Utility and Ultimate Utility picks. Like, <laughs> because Magic is just uh, really good. Alright, next we're going to throw Hilda. This one's going to surprise people. But it's because of one particular thing. Hilda has Bolting. Uh, and that is a long range Magic spell, which will allow her to just have that equipped while running around dancing people, but because she has that long range magic equipped, she'll be able to help other units in uh, linked attacks and gambit boosts. So that is something to note, and I think that is really, really good. So if you are gonna make Hilda your dancer, make sure to train her reason rank as much as you can to get her to bolting. Uh, it really makes that worthwhile in my opinion. All right, next we have Linhart. Uh, physic plus dance and warp too. I mean, there's just a lot of utility there. I would argue that uh, warpers are not really suited to be dancers because generally when I have a warp unit, I am dancing for them. 
but I think because he has physic, it really does put him uh, a step above that. Like, as you can see, I put Lysithia in dancing is good tier, meaning that, like, I'm sure dancing's fine, but she doesn't really need it. Uh, because she doesn't have physic or any long-range healing or, or anything like that, but she just has warp. Uh, warp is, to me, is worth... Uh, it's worth having in a class that gives you two warps and also just to be danced for to use those two warps. So I think Linhart is on the lower end of the utility uh, side of things. All right, next we have Mercedes. Mercedes is the ultimate healer in this game uh, with both Physic and Fortify. I think the only thing that would make her better would be Recover, but that's okay, honestly. So she'll be able to heal every turn. She'll be able to heal, heal pretty much anywhere on the map if you need her to. And when you don't need her to heal, she can be dancing. Great utility pick. Uh, Mercedes is great. All right, next we have Marianne. Similar to, I don't know why I put her, actually, I think I'm gonna put Marianne like more like here um, because she has basically the same tools as uh, like Linhart, it's minus warp. So I feel almost less bad putting her into dancer when I'm not wasting warp on a dancer, if that makes sense. Because uh, I like to have the extra uses uh, of warp in like Grammarie or uh, Bishop. So I think that's fine. Similar to Mercedes, can dance and heal all across the map. And now that I'm thinking about it, I was going to put Happy above Mercedes, but I think I'm going to put her just above Linhart. Um, just because she does have warp, and I honestly would rather have that in a different class, personally. Uh, she does have physic as well, which is great. But she really, I don't know, she doesn't, and she does have some long range magic as well, like innate three range magic. So that can make some uh, good use for linked attacks as well. Uh, I think I'm going to put her there for now and I'm going to just be happy with it. Haha, <laughs> happy with it. Good one, me. <laughs> All right, and to ultimate utility, I think these units are like made to be dancers. Absolutely made to be dancers. I think Constance is a slept on dancer pick because of uh, bolting and because of, so long range magic being bolting and also because of rescue. So I, I just feel like there's always gonna be something for her to be able to do on any given turn. Uh, and she'll be part of linked attacks and all, all sorts of stuff. So I think Constance is about as good as it gets. The only person I'm going to put above her is Dorothea. Dorothea has the, oh no, did I do this all wrong? <clears throat> Dorothea has the uh, quality of the long range match. So she has Meteor and she has Physic. She has Meteor and Physic being uh, the only unit, I believe, that has that combination uh, that can become a dancer. So having long range heals and being able to be a part of all sorts of linked linked attacks and gambit boost and being able to dance if needed, amazing. I think that is the ultimate utility pick in the game. Um, just super powerful as a dancer in my opinion. But that's just, again, that is just my opinion. So if you think I'm wrong, please tell me. I want to know what you have to say. Uh, let me know in the comments what would you change why would you change it who are your favorite dancers who are your least favorite dancers all that sort of stuff i'd love to hear it and of course like the video for visibility helps the channel grow and subscribe if you're new thanks guys